Alright, I'm here and ready. Uh, this is my bad. Alright, push out north. Actually, go south, go south, go south. Everybody go south right quick. Does Nameless know that Arsha just pushed us? Okay, oh, well, Nameless in panic is what I meant to say. Alright. Alright, everybody, rotate, go north right now. Buff up and then push into that ball. Get north, get north, get north, get north, get north. Do we know where every, like where they're at in the heal? Okay. All right, they're kind of north, uh, northwest, northwest, northwest. They're now they're coming west. They're rotating west. Out, kill them. Get out of the fort. Get out of the fort. Are we uh, upgraded? Everything upgraded in the base? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, all right. We're, we're good. All right, they're just hanging around. Push further north, further north, further north. Everybody group up by, hey, group, group up on the road on me. Group up on the road on me. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Don't push out north. Wait till you're grouped up. Buff up on the gate, buff up on the gate, buff up on the gate. Buff up. All right, go full north. Everybody dive north right now. Dive north, dive north, dive north, dive north, dive north. Go, 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 go. Try to wrap around them. What's Panic doing? Is Panic fucking with third or are they going after Sacred's Fort? Okay. All right, early spirit of battle. Get outside the fort. Go south. Go south. Go south. Go south. Go south. South. Everybody get south. Kill these rats in south. Okay. That, that means they place right across. See, uh, see if we can can them from our fort. Hey, they're on the hill. They're rotating on the hill. Panic balls east. Okay, all right. All right, y'all need to get out the force so I can pop this spirit of battle. All right, I'm about to. Oh, y'all are. Okay, all right. Rotate north. Rotate north. Rotate north. Rotate north. Rotate north. I'm popping. Oh. Go out there, 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 go out there. There's some sitting. Oh, that's panic. Hey, focus on east. Focus east. Focus east. Ellie's defending. Ellie's defending right now until they tell us to send it as sacred or something. Good blues, good blues, good blues. Finish them all off. Finish them all off. Go further north. Further north, further north. Oh, that's panic. That's panic. Go fur all the way north, all the way north, all the way north. All the way north, right here on this ping, on this ping, on this ping. What do they, I don't think the, the castle, we, I mean, I don't know. I, we, we would have to get like a sneaky play on threat. They're pushing out, right? Okay, I mean, yeah, we can backdoor threat. I'm fine with taking a little bit of damage from Marsha. A sacred, I'm assuming. I mean, they, they're, I guess they haven't said the plan. Okay. All right, get around the fort. Get around the fort. Look, look east, look east, look east, look east, look east. Can I get tags on uh, Arsha and uh, Sacred? Okay. Arsha is right across. Okay. You know what? I think. Okay. All right. All right. Why is Panic super south of us? All right. Um. 
They're pulling for nameless. Okay. All right, hey, come out here. We're going to push Saker right quick. All right, hey, buff up, 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 buff up. Everybody, buff up, buff up, buff up. Dive right now. Dive this group. Dive this group. Dive this group. They're going to try to rotate north. Kill these ones that's already over here. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Y'all got a full push. All right, they're running. They're running back. They're running back. They're running back. Kill A. Hey, dive south. Go south. Go south. Go south. I actually have to be putting a, a flag on sacred or something. And we just try to fucking get nameless to be somewhat offensive. Because if threat's going to be that uh, conservative, then it's a waste. Kill yeah, I'm saying, but if they're just going to hurry up and spawn fucking... Uh, Fort, I mean, we'll die. All right, is Arsha ball on us or something? I'm about to re We gotta, hey, go back to Fort. Go back to Fort. Go back to Fort. Go back to Fort. Go back to the Fort. Go back to the Fort. Okay. Everybody should be back at the Fort. Run back to the Fort. Push up, push up, push up, push up, push up, push up, push up. Go ahead and dive that ball. You got spawns. Dive that ball. The elephant needs to be shot down. Panic is trying to kill for both of us, I guess. Hey, kill hey, Archer's rotating west, southwest. Get out west, get out west, get out west. I'm in their bar. Sacred. We could pop holes in sacred and try to do something, get these skills defensive. We'll be good. Try to not cross fire with panic, y'all. Alright, panic is mostly pushing them off. Yeah, we'll, we'll hey get traps down. Traps, 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 traps. Your traps down, everybody. Okay. Uh, flex, start looking for that uh, that flag. We can wait. East, okay. All right, hey, hey, everybody, rotate right here. Rotate, get up on the hill right here, right here, right here, right here. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, uh, nah, it's more so um, wait for the flag. We'll just work on defending until we get rid of Marsha's uh, flag and shit. All right, buff up. Kill these people on the rocks. Buff up, and then we're diving. Buff up, buff up, buff up, buff up. All right, dive, 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 dive the ball, dive the ball, dive the ball, dive the ball, dive the ball. Get in here, get in here, get in here, and they're in all this fucking mess. Get all the way to their back line, all the way over here. Trying to do. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yo, so if Nameless is going for Arsha, then we're going to die and then take that uh, flag. And then we're just going to fuck it. Okay, let me know when they, they got that. Get up on the seal, kill as many as you can. And they need to worry about fucking sacred or, or sacred on uh, nameless. Okay. 
All right, hey, get traps down, get traps down, get traps down. Put it an uh, in-game announcement. All right, everybody, go north, go north, go north, go north, go north. If they don't, if they, if they're not flagged up in five minutes, we kick them from the Arsene's cannon's right where? Okay. All right, push north, push north, push north, push north, push north. Kill this group, push out, push out, push out, push out. down nameless uh. why are y'all moving off the flag why are y'all moving off the flag why are y'all moving off the flag i don't have a ball here everybody that's dying spawn up if panic bust the move to arsha then this trade is going to work out in our favor we just got to get walls down so get ready for axis moving out five four three Two, one, let's move, let's move, let's move. Yep, Trina Axis is gonna fucking do what we need to do. Right here, Trina Axis on these walls. Trina Axis on these walls. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Uh oh, fuck up, watch shooting. Move, move, move. Green Axe is on these walls. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. No panic. We're on these walls right now so they can get the fucking move over here. Why do I got so many people sitting in the back? Got one wall down. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hell panic that we are on our flag is halfway down. We should have another one by the time it goes down. If you're on the flag, hurry up and wipe. Flex stay on flag and kill them. Flex stay on flag and kill them. about to pop a hole in them. We can scare Arsha back to the fucking base. Oh, what's these walls at, bruh? One, one wall weak. Right here, right here, right here. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, get on this wall, get on this wall. Gotta get on this wall, bruh. Uh, this wall is like down, bruh. It's literally, if y'all could just get in here. We're gonna have to spawn fort, bruh. All right, the wall's down, wall's down. Get in here, 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 get in here. We got a hole, tell them we got a hole. Get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here. Uh, every, uh, we're doing nothing but fighting this side. On this side, on this side, on this side. Garza, I don't hear you telling him. Please, please, I want to hear it. They, they, they need to replace our pressure. That's what this is all about. If we lose our gate, we can come back to our fort, pick up our shit while they're pressuring Arsha. Hey, you dive in this fort, you are chipping their fort down. You are chipping their fort down. Don't be a fucking bitch. Get in the fucking fort. No, don't tell him that. Tell him to get over to Arsha.
I don't care about the fucking pill. I need them to replace my fucking pressure. No. For it. Tell them that we have a hole on Arsha. If they don't replace the pressure, Arsha's going to get their hole back. It's on the west side of the fort. Everybody that's here, buff up inside the fort right now. Buff up, buff up, buff up, buff up, buff up. Push out, push out, push out, push out, push out. All the way north. All the way north, all the way north, all the way north. Okay. All right, everybody, go to bridge, go bridge, go bridge, go bridge, go bridge. All right, we need, we, I need everybody here, let's go! I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting. I'm waiting. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We'll push this fucking ball. Whatever buffs you got, dive into that ball. God, bro. Fucking stupid, bro. Spawn up on four, bro. Just, just fucking die. Spawn up on four. Cross. Are we? I'm already across. I'm already across. Okay. All right. Uh, I just I don't see panics at all. Hey, clear the fucking flag. I said everybody's bomb flag. If you are at Arsh's fort, fucking get uh oh axes out and. Hit them. Hit their hit their walls. We are not east of them. We're fucking this flag is south. All right, all right, all right, all right. Rotate around. We're gonna hit them from the east. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. All right, what? All right. Flex, flex, protect our flag. Flex, protect our flag. All right. Okay. All right, hey, everybody, 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 everybody. Oh, uh, fucking, okay. axe right here, axe right here, axe right here. We got the plane tower side. Panic needs to cook them, bro. Did they lose a flag or something? You said, wait, what did you say, Carter? Okay, all right, press on our flag, fucking defend the flag. If you're here, just fucking try to rip down the wall, bruh. Try to rip down the wall, 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 try to rip down the wall. Try to rip down the wall. Okay, all right, rotate. Let, let Panic take the east, let Panic take the east. Rotate north, rotate north, rotate north, rotate north. Oh, okay. Okay, all right, all right, back, back, back on these walls, back on these walls, I'm here. All right, all right, is our, hey, hey, clear comms, clear comms, clear comms, clear comms, clear comms. Where, where's our flag, what's our flag, what's our flag, is it down? Okay, if panic gets over here, then I will stay on our ship. If not, then I have to defend the fort. What is Panic's ETA? Hey, spawn for it, 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 spawn for it. Yep. Yeah, there's like five Panic over here for Pops. There's no lie. Yeah. Yeah, getting cut off by threat is consistently We're gonna die being aggressive. It's okay, we'll use the fucking elephants to defend and... Alright, 
Use it. Use a. Hey, use your fucking timers to push out and hit them. We're gonna have to get whatever we can back up, bro. We got six minutes for another uh, uh spirit of battle, so I'm gonna save that. I need flex to check and see if there's a flag on us. Push out with the elephant. The elephant to push out. Push out with the elephant. Push out with the elephant. Get out here. Get out here. Get out here. It's down. It's down. All right, Flex. Flex, go get that flag. Oh my God. It's not West, it's not West, it's not West. Panic, what? Yeah, we need that. Use your fucking timer, sit in the fort. Sit in the fort, sit in the fort. We need to take care of that flag. There's people inside the fort. Drop damage. This is why I said sit in the fort. You can kill the people that's in the fort. Back floating tower is not shooting. Next flag. Uh, if we got next flag, put it on our ship. Again, cannon. Okay, alright, alright, alright. All right. Why are we fucking pilling, bro? If we get them... All right. Get rid of those fucking... K hey, push out north. Push out north. Push out north. I'm about to use the spirit of battle. Oh, four minutes. Jesus. If Arsha starts defending their four, Panic's not going to kill them by themselves, bro. Panic's going to have to fucking tank threat. All right, I'm opening my map. That's exactly what the fuck I'm doing, bro. Alright, yeah, don't 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 worry about it. We gotta wait for panic. Right now, let's just get our shit back up. How many recos we lost? Hey, go further north, further north, further north, further north. Get, get rid of this get rid of all these players. Fuck about our port. Replace that flag. I'm a die killing these bitch ass niggas, bro. Alright, hey, push north! Push north! If you die, you spawn the flag! Push north, push north, push north! If, if Panic is supplementing the damage, they die! They got it. What, what, what's Panic's health at? Somebody look at Conquest. Are they like getting fucked or something? They got a hole anywhere, Panic? Hey, oh. We got, tell them we got a flat. We gotta do it on the fort. Uh, what in, everybody, everybody sit on the fort. Everybody sit on the fort. Everybody sit on the fort. Tell them we're gonna pop Spirit of Battle, take CTG, and then fucking, uh, inside. Oh, Arsha's full turtling. Okay. Okay, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah, they hey, hey, they got hey, hey, they got a big ass hole. They have a big ass hole. They got a big ass hole. If we lose this flag, then fuck it, we'll do it. Yeah, tell Panic to f say fuck their fort, bro. Sixty percent, bro. They are fucking dust. Hey, we're okay. Panic's pushing, man. Hey, I need, I need this group up, group up, group up, group up. On me, on me, on me, on me. I need a ball, man. I need a ball. I need a ball. I need a ball. Yeah, I know we need to make something happen. That's what I'm saying. Arsh is full turtling. Okay, our gate's up. All right, Panic's pushing in. Try to get a hold. Oh, we need a hold. We need a hold. We need a hold. We need a hold on this side. Or we're just going to have to follow up on Panic's fucking... Or replace our flag or something. Okay, we're, we're probably... Okay. 
Okay, hey, we're probably gonna have to divert and pill for fucking, uh, turn around, turn around, turn around. We're gonna have to pill for, uh, Nameless. Get it and get by the fort. What's the, what, what, what's going on with them? Cause we gotta take this shit before they get shit back up. All right, hey, er, hey, uh, everybody. Oh my God. Open the gate, 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 open the gate. Yeah, we've got to do it. Where's the supply depot? Did I just crash? No, we, we pop it now. All right, go ahead and pop SOB, pop SOB, pop SOB. All right, everybody take it, everybody take it, everybody take it, everybody take it. Take the CTG, take the CTG, take the CTG. Tell, tell Panic the fucking pill for Nameless. All right, you're throwing damage, you're throwing damage, you're throwing damage, you're throwing damage, you're throwing damage. Their Hawacha is like 10%. Their Hawacha is 10%. Flex, go to fucking uh, uh, Nameless. Try to find the flag or cannons or anything like that. All right, I need a flag, flag, flag on Arsha, flag on Arsha, flag on Arsha. Get it on the whole side. I don't care if Panic's pushing from there. We gotta both push. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're pushing bridge right now. Yeah, send it back. Hurry up! Why are y'all still fucking just sitting in the fort? Threats on what? Hey, hey, stop, 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 stop. I'm jumping across right here. Okay, all right, take the elephant, take the elephant, take the elephant. Panic, panic needs to throw their CTG because we didn't, we didn't stop those walls from going up. Yeah, send elephants. Yeah, we, I know, I'm waiting on, why y'all still moving? Stay around the pink. Don't move across. Y'all are like five seconds behind, bro. Get, stay with me. Stay with me. We're moving with all three of our elephants onto Arsha. Did Panic bust a move? Okay. All right. They need to get it. Y'all got to hurry up with these elephants. I know y'all trying, but y'all got to... Urgency, man. Urgency. Fuck! Come on, man. We're, we're probably gonna have to all fucking just pill for Nameless and get them back up. They're losing chunks of health. Yeah, we got a flag up yet? Don't, 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 don't. Get a flag in Nameless. Hey, move across, move across, move across. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, should be encountering Arsha right here. Go ahead and push up, push up, push up. They probably got their walls. Slaker's flag is down. Let uh, Nameless know that. All right, all right. Hey, 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 right here. Right, elephants, pick something. Like, what are y'all still running around their fort for? Fight with the elephant, fight with the elephant, fight with the elephant, fight with the elephant. All right, but we got him up oh, there. there. Fucking Christ, bro. We literally could have won this fucking girl, bro. We could have won this.
All right, man. So that sounds last to each. I don't want to say too much or like go on a super long tangent. I just want to touch on a few things. One is kind of like the main reason that this is sounds last to each and why we're blowing up. Uh, I kind of want to say a thank you too. And then I also want to go over the community for a bit. And then that'll be it. There'll be last time that you hear from Kai when it comes to BDO because I got nothing more. I mean, I'm quit. My hands are washed clean. I got nothing to do with the community anymore. Um, but while it's still recent and fresh in my mind, and before things change, I want to speak from a non-ignorant place. So first off, I want to get the things out of the way. As far as YouTube goes, I really, really, really do appreciate everybody who tuned in to the BDO content, whether it was 200 views, 300 views, 400,000 views, all those views we were not getting at when we first started this YouTube channel, which we just did it as kind of like a little hobby just to see what happens. We wasn't taking it seriously. But this time around, we started over. BDO really gave us like uh, some hope because BDO, especially on console, is such a niche game. We were expecting though these views to be like 20, 30, you know, view videos. And I never expected to see a siege or a note war with a thousand plus views. And I know, I know a thousand views ain't shit. I know in the grand scheme of things, it's not shit, but it gave us hope. So whether you were hate watching or you were genuinely watching because you got something out of it, whatever that is, um, I appreciate it because y'all have made it to where we actually want to take youtube a little bit more like we saw that there's good that could come out of it um because the views are proportionate to our subscribers and that's kind of like our whole goal anyways as long as we're getting views as our subscriber list grows i'm happy with it uh now with that being said if most of our fucking subscribers are hate watchers who are only fucking watching so that they can get some clips or some sound bites and yes there are niggas who have sound bites of me from my videos put into their discord so they can i guess troll or laugh even though i don't interact with them um just weirdos but hate watchers you can fucking unsubscribe if you're doing that shit but everybody else truly appreciate uh if you were to stay subscribed and look out for other content promise we're not super boring um <laughs> with that being said that's the things so the other thing i want to talk about is kind of like the reason that we are quitting um this has been in motion for months now i've had this in the back of my mind for ever since the hide ball really like it, it was cooked and so the hide ball i was like okay i'm getting ready to quit and then when cho nation quit i was like holy shit because the idea with pc was that from console to pc anyways is that we have something to look forward to and cho nation was our sacred except you know cho nation's worldwide and they were considered the best guild period at the end of the day uh when it comes to cho nation quitting and then you look at all the fucking doomer quote unquote the doomer videos um you know which are really just videos that have a shit ton of a logic in it and that the game is failing we don't have a lot of shit to look forward to when it comes to console yeah there's a lot of content that we're missing out but we don't have a timeline on where we're going to get that content even if pa gave us the timeline for the content they can always just revert or renege on the situation and then uh, we don't ever get the content. So it's like, you know, they just fucking lie to us, basically. Um, we don't even know what the next-gen version is going to entail. Like, we still don't have details on what the next-gen version is going to do for us. And I could go on and on and on. PA fucking is a trash company. It's a, they don't know how to actually run a game. They know how to make a good combat system. And even then, that shit barely works, at least for console. Uh, so, and then they ruined it. They ruined what worked with this whole... Nobody likes the DR changes except DR classes. Uh, but with that being said, um, yeah, PA fucked up. PA fucked up a lot. They uh they gave us no hope on the console side really. So it's like, what am I really holding out for? Well, I hold out for the siege fights, and that's what I really want to get down to and talking about. That is kind of what killed my desire to keep playing, cause it came from me caring about note wars and siege. They changed the note wars, so now I only care about siege. And then with the siege, the fights are so in, like few and far between. It, I'm only going to get a fight every once in a while. So why am I suffering to try to keep this shit going so I can get these siege fights that I'm, it's going to be super inconsistent? It, it just doesn't make any sense to me. We are dealing with guilds who last second place to avoid our alliance. Now I will say. I'm happy that these niggas banded together in the sense of competition. Arsha, Threat, and Saker is a great-ass alliance. I actually appreciate that fight, even though you would think, oh, that's not really a good fight for y'all because Nameless lost to Arsha in the 1v1. Again, that was a Mickey-ass fight if you actually seen it. Um, and there's so many things that you just don't know unless you watch the four-hour fucking stream of it if you can find it anywhere. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, they won, right? Let's, let's take all the context away. At the, the end result is that Arsha beat our strongest guild for the most part. And so how are we going to deal with that? And then we're going to deal with a disproportionate, in, like when it comes to strength, a guild that is so far ahead of everybody uh you know long story short you would think that it's a mismatch but it really isn't we had the opportunity to win this fight right here our last siege we had an opportunity to win it and it just wasn't enough aggression um when it comes to sound of panic finishing our show off that's really what it boils down to so with that being said i for the sake of competition enjoyed the fight now here's the issue with them coming together they didn't do it for the sake of competition sacred and arsha especially arsha too sacred arsha hates sacred arsha i've been dm'd by arsha leadership to avoid sacred i have been in a discord that arsha created solely with the intent of getting content away from sacred as soon as they got kicked out of their alliance or they left their alliance or whatever the case may be because sacred saps the energy of every fucking guild that they work with this has been known forever arsha was the biggest haters for sacred up there with fucking nameless so to do all that and then you turn around and you team with them you would think oh that's a really good reason right nameless panic and sound arsha just hates them way more right that's besides the point right let's focus on the facts right these niggas worked with sacred 
under the pretense of killing off Nameless. How do I know? It's not like I got the scoop. I don't have any screenshot from a Discord conversation or a VC talk. I don't have anything like that. But it's as simple as you looking in the server chat. After they killed Nameless, after I think they killed us too, you will see those niggas celebrating and saying that this was Nameless's last fight. They do not get the ride off in the sunset. That is essentially what they were saying. So what I'm saying is that these niggas put aside their differences to work together to cuck Nameless from having a happy ending. That is the most petty and pathetic shit I have ever seen. At that point, you're actively trying to make the, you're trying to kill the game for one. And then for two, you're just being corny as fuck. You're being so corny. So it got to the point where after I lost, after we lost, I just sat and thought, I was like, bro, why the fuck am I competing with these bosos? Why am I competing with these guilds? What's the point of trying to reach and become the number one guild ever? And yes, sound, the end goal for sound was always to become the number one guild. It's just very, very hard. And we wanted to take a step by step, but it's very hard to overcome guilds that have been doing this ever since the game came out for the most part. It's very hard. We are a very new guild when it comes to PVP trust. So we had to climb our way up. We climbed our way to the top five spot. And then once you hit that top five, it is a fucking wall, bro. It's a fucking wall. It's hard to overcome, especially when you don't have top five quality players coming to your guild because of reputations and shit like that based off of campaigns and fucking politics, bro. It's so ridiculous. Oh, man, if y'all knew every fucking detail, man. But oh, I'm yapping, man. Why compete with guilds who are so focused on punching down? Sacred has no choice but to punch down. Who are they punching up to? God? They, they have nobody to punch up to. So they have no choice but to fight everybody else. That That is what it is. Everybody should be trying to fight them, but nobody wants to fight them 1v1. Arsha, who is the bona fide number two guild in their eyes, if you watch the Nameless fight, I already talked about that. Look, Bonafide number two guild, and you're avoiding Sacred, and you're trying to punch down. You would rather bend over and get penetrated by Sacred, but get butt-fucked by Sacred. And, by the way, after this fight, Sacred took Castle. They demanded that Arsha walked off. Well, Arsha listened. They couldn't even brawl after. So they decided to be fucking Sacred's pet dogs to cut, to cut their only competition. They're dumb. They're the dumbest guild ever. I'm, I'm still getting off track. It's, it's my hate talking, but that's true. It's the fucking truth. These niggas cut their own content wanting to kill Nameless off. Retarded. It's absolutely dumb. You, If you're Arsha, you don't want anybody to die because you're too scared to compete with fucking sacred now that sounds dead you always say that all of our guilds are alliance based and they can't do anything without each other if you are under that pretense then you believe that nameless is next and then panic is next or whatever the panic and nameless are soon to be dead that is your mindset if you think that these guilds cannot survive by themselves right so then who's going to be left for you to fight threat nigga you're going to try to make beef with threat you're going to try to make beef with conviction you're going to try to make beef with these guilds that cannot compete with you because you're so scared of starting something with sacred is that what you're going to do arsha I'm sorry, I, I, I gotta go on this tangent. It just makes no sense to me to work with Sacred under that mindset to cuck Nameless and try to kill the community off. Like, at that point, just fucking blow your guild up, bro. You don't want to push higher, so you've reached your, your height. You've reached your fucking status quo. You've reached where you've gotten... You, you don't want to go to number one. You want to be number two. You're fine with being number two because you're a bitch. So die a bitch, bro. It blows my mind that they pulled up with that purpose. Again... If we, if the same exact thing happened last night, and, and I'm not making this shit up, y'all. I know for a fact, I can't say too much. I know for a fact that is why they pulled up and worked together. They've been planning this shit for a couple of weeks, apparently. But I know last night they did that shit with the intention of cucking Nameless. So it's not going to be consistent. And even if it is consistent, it's such a petty reason to fight. I can't, I don't enjoy the game enough to, to compete with bullshit like that. It's too childish for me. I got nothing. I don't want anything to do with it. So <sighs> there's a lot that I can say, man. But basically long story short arsha is the biggest ass kisser of any guild ever they've had plenty of people in their guild leave because even their members and a lot of their members are bitch made there are a lot of people who just couldn't get in the sacred so they try to get in the best guild they can they ignore all retardation it's very lame it's very lame and the, the community is fucking ass like it's not just arsha fucking nobody wants to see sacred and i think that's a problem everybody should be striving to be the number one guild i know sacred is in such a fucking impossible level so it is better off that sacred just fucking dies because realistically nobody's ever going to catch up with them uh but you know, sacred, they don't have to die. Like, it's not their their prerogative to die. They shouldn't be wanting to die to better the community. So that doesn't even make any fucking sense, right? Ultimately, the last thing that I want to say as far as, like, a point, because I'm, I'm going to keep talking about fucking how bad the community is. Really, when it boils down to it, the community is the main reason that I quit. Yes, PA sucks, but it's, like, 50-50, 60-40 on the community side. Like, it's mostly the community being super trash. Super trash. It took us forever to get a fight of this quality. It took us forever to to not have to deal with motherfuckers last second place and have them to go bounce back and forth between territories to catch motherfuckers in a fight. Ultimately, all of that is to say for everyone else, for the guilds that are still going to play because you do not have a doomer mindset and you still want to put effort into BDO. I think you're insane, but be insane, bro. If BDO makes you happy and you like playing BDO, fucking do it. But don't make the same fucking mistakes. Now the sound is dead, realistically speaking. Because, again, the competition is about to die out unless these niggas all team up against Sacred and try to kill them. And even then, that's competition dying out for the most part. So, Nameless, 
Panic, Arsha, Sacred, in my head, the way that I predict, they're eventually going to die. And only when they die can every other guild prosper. And I think even guilds like that are super far ahead of other guilds like Threat. I think Threat probably needs to die too because they're really strong in comparison to the rest of the game. But when it comes to like the convictions and the, the ominouses and the... Uh, just, you know, the guilds around that level are lower demotions, shit like that. All you guys can prosper, even the guilds are way below. All these players who are about to be homeless because all these fucking guilds die, they have to go somewhere if they still want to play the game. And if they do that, then you guys can fucking make a bomb-ass community where there's so many fucking guilds and they're not scared because they don't have to deal with real quality siege guilds. Yo, can actually get really fun fights. So I've been all over the place with this tangent. I, that's because I have a billion things on my mind that I wish I could say, but I really can't. I don't have the time for it. Um, Long story short, man. Don't make the same mistakes when Sacred dies, when Arsha dies, when these guilds, who you feel like they, you cannot climb up and get to them, you know, I, and I understand that there's the fucking, the number two guild in the game feels like they couldn't climb up to number one. So what is the number 20th guild? How, how are y'all going to feel, right? I get that. But now that all these guilds are soon about to die, if you're not planning on blowing your guild up and you plan on playing this game, bide your time, wait for them to die, absorb whatever players you can and fucking compete compete don't deal with the bullshit don't have weirdos make fucking thick ass videos it's only showing the good side focus on the fights do not politic i don't care even if you guys make alliances that's cool just don't politic about it. don't be bitch made about it fight and trust me you'll have a fucking blast siege is actually really really fucking fine fight each other in siege you don't have to always want you don't have to 1v1 you know we we, we got arsha <laughs> i'm sorry man. that's probably that's the last thing i say uh, i'm gonna say about arsha uh i'm making this last video about arsha oh my god rent free right rent free um but no we got arsha number two guild uh bragging about how no guild could beat them 1v1 but they refuse to go fight the number one guild 1v1 hmm, kind of odd uh but don't have that mindset man don't just chase after blue feeds chase after competition and then you will take this shitty ass community and make it healthy and then going forward every other guild that comes in if somehow bdo console makes a miraculous fucking return you know, the next gen version comes out and people are just happy and they're playing the game. If that somehow fucking happens, then the culture of the game is going to go by what you guys determine and what you guys do. And if you guys focus on fights and not being scared, if you guys focus on fights and you don't focus on politicking, if you try to go to fights where a motherfucker can rock your shit, but you can rock their shit, if you go for those type of fights and everybody does that shit without jumping niggas and without fucking and making things fucking toxic, you will be in a great spot as a community. I really, really hope I really, really hope that that's what happens for the sake of all of my niggas who still play this game. Um, but I'm going to be honest, I don't think it's going to happen. I think that, I think worst case scenario, some of these bigger guilds are not going to die. They're going to pick a territory and they're going to gatekeep it. And you're not going to be able to have content because they're going to make sure that you don't get in because they're going to be wanting the money and the bread to keep getting gear just to not fight each other. That's what's going to happen. That's what's probably going to happen. I'm going to be honest. You're going to have sacred sit on Calpheon forever like they've been doing because nobody's going to have the bravery to challenge them consistently. And then you have, you're going to have fucking Arsha probably on Valencia, sitting on Valencia. Nobody's going to come over there because they don't need an alliance anymore because Nameless and Panic are probably going to be cooked if Arsha and Sacred keeps working together. And then Nameless and Panic are probably going to be stuck on fucking Balanos, where all the T1 guilds, current T1 guilds should be. That's probably how it's going to go until Nameless and Panic dies. Or maybe they turn things around. Or maybe Arsha works with fucking uh, Panic and Nameless now that we fucking died and they go jump Sacred. Who fucking knows? I don't know. I'm ranting. Like I said, shit ton of shit on my mind. Oh my god, I don't think any other GM has ever done some shit like this. Look, I appreciate the fights, I appreciate the content all these years that I played, um, and I appreciate everybody in sound who made it possible for me to fight the titans of the game, because trust me, there was a point in time where I didn't think it would be possible. I didn't think that people would even give me a fucking shot, but they did, so really appreciate it, and I appreciate the niggas who fucking hate my guts. I appreciate the, the niggas who hate my guild's guts, because even though y'all do the most pathetic shit in the world, at least you gave us the fucking fight. Even then when you was running, you being alive gave us the opportunity to have some type of fight. And it means something. Y'all have a great time. Like, share, and subscribe. We got more content coming out. Baldur's Gate video is about to be dropping. I got a fucking Dynasty Warriors video. I know niggas don't even know what the fuck that is, but I got that video coming out too, man. So, thanks for watching and hearing me rant. This, this, this whole little rant wasn't just like a send off or anything like that. It's just more so, again, wanted to get my last and thoughts out there. So if you feel like I targeted you or I targeted Arsha heavy, I did. I really did because my last and thoughts are heavy. And it's not really like it's rent free. It's more so Arsha, I think, is the biggest example of what not to do. Sacred 2, I think Sacred is lame for what teaming up with Arsha just to, you know, cuck nameless. That's obviously lame. But just the entire existence of Sacred to me isn't lame. I think they're just too strong to not be lame. If that makes sense. It's not their decisions and how they move that's lame. It's just that nobody can beat them 1v1. And, like, they don't have a win condition. They can't even get close. They can't even sniff beating Sacred. It's like a CTG play or nothing. That's it. So, oh, actually, who knows? The number two guild probably could be Sacred. The old number two guild did. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm done. I'm done. Thanks for watching.